These guys are one of the last bands standing of the Canadian alt-rock heyday, and they are stronger than ever. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton, and welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're speaking with Finger Eleven. We always like to start with the origin stories of the bands that we interview, so why don't you tell us how Finger Eleven originated? The band originated as a band called the Rainbow Butt Monkeys back in the... Uh, I guess early 90s, but even before that, the band really consisted of Scott and his brother Sean and James would jam like Zeppelin and the Beatles and stuff, you know, like that. And then I met them in high school, and then we sort of, that's where the Butt Monkey things formed, but then that ended around 97, I want to say, and uh, our, the original drummer quit, and then Rich joined the band, and uh, this band, is, we've been figuring out since about, since about 97. Tell us about the relationship with the fans. I mean, how do you like to reach out to them, and you know, how do they reach out to you? Yeah, we try to involve the fans as much as we can. The last record, we would, you know, we had a phone in the studio, and uh, the they last were, they two were able to right? It was the last two. Yeah. We always have a, you know, just a great relationship. I think we're all just kind of normal five guys that love music. There's a reason that why people have stuck with us. I think you know, it's because we're an approachable band, um, and we've developed, you know, real relationships with our fans over the years. You know, as we're making the record, still feel that. Um, the excitement of people, you know, anticipating the record coming out, and here we are on the Canadian tour, and have people still coming to the shows after all these years. It's, you know, you got to pinch yourself sometimes. We just, you can't ever take it for granted because, um, you know, it goes away fast. And um, we've had these really loyal fans have stuck with us for all these years. It's incredible. Something that strikes me about you guys is that you still seem pretty into it, even after all these years. So tell us kind of what keeps you guys enthused. I'd like to think if we were all working day jobs on the weekend, we'd be getting together and jamming in the garage or after work. Like We do still really enjoy each other's company and making music together. It's, it hasn't, you know, luckily it hasn't turned into this machine business thing where, you know, it's that's all it's about. This for the most part is, except for when Rich, like, when Rich joined, like this is the first and only band that the other four of us have ever been in. This is how we think it goes. If you're doing this and you're unhappy, then you got some serious problems. Because I mean, <laughs> you can be, you can have problems and do this and it takes away a lot of your problems. But if you're still unhappy after being on stage every night and playing and writing music and playing music with people that appreciate you playing for them, then I don't know what's gonna make you happy. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, 